Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to continue our way through Star Wars Shatterpoint and we are going to be painting Kalani and the B1 Battle Droids. Come on! So as I said, we're going to be painting Kalani and the B1s. We're going to be doing this uh, in a very simple and easy way that anyone can accomplish. That's my plan for the core set uh, miniatures is to just get these out and get them painted so you guys can start playing your games quick. I'd like to quickly just thank Asmodee for sending me out the core set early. Um, thank you. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's paint these guys. First thing we are going to do is give Kalani a spray in white all over, and then we're going to move on to sick green. Now, this is going to go all over the entire miniature, except for the uh, hologram of the city that he's holding. So thin this paint down, do two coats if you need to, but the sick green actually covers over white really well. Once that is all dried, we're moving over to Goblin Green. Now we are going to just do a dry brush of this Goblin Green, but we're just gonna focus on the topmost areas of the miniature. So we're not going all the way down, we're just doing the upper joints and uh, tops of the feet a little bit, tops of the head, tops of the shoulders, just where that light would be hitting the most. So our main goal here is that we're just gonna try and get sort of a Zenithal with the green without using an airbrush. We're gonna use dry brushing. I don't want to use the airbrush on these miniatures too much because I know a lot of people don't have airbrushes or uh, don't know how to use them. Um, either way, I want this series of videos for the core set characters to be accessible as possible so any of you guys can just gonna follow along and do it. Next, we're gonna move over to camouflage green and we are going to do, yep, the exact same thing that we did, but we're gonna do it just a little bit lighter than we did the, uh, the the goblin green but we're still focusing on those uppermost areas i'm going to throw a dab of white in that camouflage green and just do one last uh light dry brush here on all the upper areas Next, we're gonna take some croak green and some beel tan green. Now, we're gonna just use mostly croak green with one drop of beel tan green, and we are gonna wash the entire miniature in this. So, just go through slowly, try not to let it pool too much. Now we're gonna take some cold gray, and we're just gonna do these certain parts. So, I looked at the uh, box reference and some reference photos, and he's got a couple parts that aren't the green color. So look at your reference photos and go through and just make those parts gray. So Kalani is a weird name for a droid. I don't know. Like even the main droids that we know are like numbers and letters, R2-D2, C-3PO, K-2-S-O. He's just like, I'm Kalani, how are you? <laughs> so strange. And I took extra care around any of the parts that were this hologram because I wanted to keep that smooth white from the spray. I'm going to take a homemade black wash here, and this is going to go all over those gray parts that we just did. So the homemade black wash is just black ink, matte medium, flow improver, and water, and that's all you need. And you can make it to the consistency that you like. I'm going to take some Caribbean Ocean here, and this is going to go all over that hologram. So that was one of the main reasons I wanted to keep it smooth white, because this the Army Painter Speed Paints go over best over a smooth application. Caribbean or Caribbean Ocean? Caribbean Ocean, Caribbean Ocean. Why is, what's, does anybody know the difference? Is it just pronunciation? Is that all it is? Pirates of the Caribbean sounds better than Pirates of the Caribbean. But this paint color sounds better as Caribbean Ocean instead of Caribbean Ocean. Oh, it's not even this, it's not even a word anymore. Never mind. It doesn't even sound like a word. Now we're going to take that cold gray here and we are just going to do some highlighting up on that gray. I'm 
We're gonna take some volcanic yellow and this is just gonna go right into those eye holes. And we're going to take some glorious gold and we're going to start doing all this trim. So again, I looked at some reference photos. He's got a lot of this, uh, I don't know, trim design or anything like that. But we're putting the uh, glorious gold all over that. Uh, we don't have to be too careful because we can come back in with a wash later and separate those parts a little bit better. Uh, we're going to take some stone wall gray here and we're just going to do another highlight up on this gray. So we want to keep this kind of more towards the tops of any of the highlights. And then we're going to take, while the paint is still wet, just a little bit of water on our brush and we're just going to smooth the colors into each other. So I think this is called feathering, but it's a nice little way to uh, smooth out our highlights. I grab a little bit of black wash here and just put that in between the gold that we laid down just to separate it better. So we're going to take some white and with a dry brush we're just going to go over that Caribbean ocean a little bit just to uh, punch up the contrast. Um, and with that, the Kalani part is done. Let's move on to the B1s. So the B1s are going to be uh, really easy to do. Um, simple method. Uh, let's get into it. So we're gonna give them a spray of white and then we're gonna grab some Skeleton Horde. Now this is gonna go over the entire miniature except for his uh, blaster. So like anything else, we don't want it to pool too much. So, you know, suck up some of that with a dry brush if you need to and just get it all over. Why? <laughs> so, uh, look, why do the droids talk to each other? Okay, because they get their orders beamed from like a ship or from like a control center or from a tactical droid. Uh, and I understand why they need to talk to people like to tell them, halt, you can't go there or something like that. But why do they need to talk to each other and have like full on conversations? You would think that they could just, you know, talk like machines through Wi-Fi or whatever it is they use. <laughs> it's probably not Wi-Fi because it's the... It's not. It's probably not Wi-Fi. They're probably not all Bluetoothed up. And we're going to take some bone white and we are going to do a dry brush, just a light dry brush over that skeleton horde. And again, we're focusing more towards the upper parts of the miniature. And we're going to take some scarlet red and we're going to do his shoulders here. Uh, we're also going to do that little design on his head and we're just going to introduce a little bit of color. I think the scarlet red color is for security because I think the droids have different colors. I think the blue is for pilots and yeah, the other one's for security. I don't know. It's Star Wars stuff. They have colors. We're going to grab our Grave Lord Grey and this is just going to go all over their blasters. Uh, I've tried to use the Grim Black Army Painter uh, black paint and honestly it's too dark. It goes on really good and then once it dries it just looks black. So. Find the Gravelord Grey is a much better uh, color for this. I'm gonna add a little bit of white into that scarlet red and just do an upper uh, highlight up on that red. And with that, we can do the bases on these guys and they are done. And they turned out really good. Um, really simple way to paint them. I did some with blue and I did some with red. Um, a lot of fun, uh, easy miniatures. Uh, they were not fun to put together and I'll talk about that in a second. But um, yeah, these look great. And uh, Kalani turned out really good too. Um, this is a really easy way for everybody to get their stuff done. Now, putting them together was not um, a great time. Their connection points uh, on their legs uh, were very small. And 
while painting them, one of the legs would just keep coming off. So once they're glued to the base, I would suggest not picking them up by the miniature. I would pick them up by the base from now on. I don't know. You might not have that issue. I didn't use plastic glue. I know everybody's saying you use plastic glue. I use super glue. I don't, I don't really like plastic glue. So maybe that's my fault. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. This is another one of those situations in Star Wars where I have to wonder if anybody recycles. Because the Jedi's cut down those droids like crazy. Like, just slice them up, smash them into things. Like, there's millions and millions and millions of these droids. Is somebody going out and picking them up and recycling the parts? I know I've talked about this before, but I, I, it's almost, I like need to know almost. <laughs>